Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be reviewing the new Scorpion vehicle, the newest limited in the game. So this thing costs $2 million, and this whole video is going to be about whether you should buy it or not. So first, we're going to start with the pros. First, the design is really, really cool. It looks like the M12 Molten mixed with the F1 car. Second of all, it has the highest top speed in the game, and this top speed is 425 miles per hour about. And this is all thanks to as soon as you get up to 140 miles per hour, you're going to get these little burners on the back, and these are going to boost you a lot. This gives you a ton of acceleration, and these boost you all the way up to 300 miles per hour. Now, the 425 mile per hour top speed is really cool, but honestly, you're never going to get to that top speed because the map just doesn't allow for that. The fastest that you can really go on this map is like 340 miles per hour, and that's if you do the around the world circuit. So realistically, you're only ever going to get up to like 270, 300 miles per hour when you're just using the car normally. But with that being said, this thing is really, really cool and really fun to use normally. Whether you're just grinding or driving around, it is super satisfying to drive, especially when those afterburners kick in. It also has a completely custom engine sound, and it has a startup too, which is like by far my favorite thing in Jailbreak. I always ask for startup sounds, and here it is. <laughs> The startup noise is kind of annoying, and it can be pretty loud. Here's the acceleration and the driving. I'm not exactly sure if this is completely custom or if it's just a pitched version of a different one that we already have. I'm pretty sure it's just a pitched version of the regular engine sound, but it's still cool regardless. So now that we've talked about the pros, let's look at the cons. I talked about this a little bit in the pros, but like I said earlier, you're not going to get up to that 425 mile per hour top speed. It's just not really possible or feasible on the entire map. Second of all, this thing becomes pretty hard to handle at top speeds, especially when you're going at like 300 miles per hour. It doesn't turn very well. As you can see, I just flew into the ocean. It also doesn't have the greatest braking I've ever seen, especially because it has such a huge top speed. You would think that it would brake really fast, but if you get up to a high enough speed, it takes a really long time for this thing to slow down to zero. This might be one of the slowest braking speeds I've ever seen. Third con is the price. Unfortunately, this thing is the second most expensive thing in the entire game. This thing is only $500,000 cheaper than the concept car. And the concept car is here to stay forever, so you have unlimited time to grind and get this thing. However, if you don't have 2 million cash on hand, like I only have $62,000, you're gonna have a hard time grinding to 2 million. Especially if you have other obligations besides sitting on your butt and playing jailbreak, then you're gonna have a pretty hard time getting this. Which I guess is what the car is trying to cater towards, is like the top few elite that actually have cash on hand, and this car is for them. Which I guess is a bit unfortunate, but remember that this car was actually supposed to be the Robux car, and they just decided to change it from Robux to cash last minute. But after all that, that's really all the cons. And to be honest, I think that the pros outweigh the cons, if you're getting this thing just to have it and play around with it sometimes, absolutely go for it. But if you're getting this thing because you want a grinding car and you want a fun, fast grinding car, don't really bother because this thing is not great for grinding. I mean, it's really good for power plant, but nothing else really. You're probably better off getting like an Aperture or getting a, a non-limited car like the Chiron or the Roadster. So yeah, in conclusion, if you have $2 million sitting around, go ahead and get this. Also, if you're a car collector and you just want fun cars to play with, go ahead and get this. But if you don't have 2 million cash lying around, and you don't collect all the cars, and you just want this thing to have a really fast car to grind with, don't really bother. Also, third option, if you're a trader and you're getting this solely for value, I think that this thing's definitely going to plummet in the coming weeks or months. And so if you're getting this just to trade it off, trade it off quickly because I'm sure it's going to just go down in value. But yeah, that's my review. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next video.